Hello friends, Sentinel H here. Welcome back to our Civilization VI Let's Play as Norway. Uh, so in the previous episode, we finished capturing Magdeburg. Uh, so now we basically own this island, which was Germany's starting island. Uh, it's not a bad island to start on, actually. It's kind of small. You can only fit really two cities on it. I mean, he, he probably could have fit three if he was moved this over. But um, or maybe he couldn't. That's one, two, three. So he couldn't. Well, he, could, he couldn't have put there. Um, and then Japan, of course, started over here. Didn't make full use of their territory. But anyway, the point is, uh, we took Aachen in Magdeburg. So now there's no way G Germany could ever get Aachen back. Germany only has Cologne now, which has been under siege for at least like a couple of hundred years. And uh, we're about ready to launch our final solution plan to uh, attack Scythia's capital city, immediately take it as quickly as possible. Uh, also, simultaneously attack Japan, although we can't because we're friends. I can't even attack him. And then also attack Athens and take it as well. And once we have taken these three cities, we win the match. I probably could have done this ages ago, but as we've established in the past, I'm not very good at judging when I can uh, do what I can do. I haven't really played it enough uh, to really get to the point. Oh, Nimitz. That's what that Nimitz class ship is, is uh, named after. ADHD. Um, I'm not really all that great at judging the exact moment when I can do stuff, and it's kind of like in RPG terms, I kind of wait until... Why haven't I get this? The sewers are great. In RPG terms, I kind of um, wait until I'm over-leveled before I do stuff. So we're going to do this. We're going to... Uh, well, never mind. What we're going to do is we're going to declare a holy war against Tommy. Not that it matters, but we will only get a moderate thing. So we're going to go ahead and declare war against Tommy. We're going to be at war with half the map at the same time. What trust? I, she only has the canned responses, but I never had her trust. She never liked me. And we've been at war before, so um, she should know this. That I am great. Ah, there we go. I was right to come here. Pokrovka is right there. Which is always Tommy's uh, capital. Because as we know, um, these, these cities always have the same capital. Her city, however, seems to have a much higher defense rating than uh, the other cities that we've been capturing because we are doing significantly less damage to it per shot. Um, this guy is in range of being bombarded. These two are not. And if I want to capture it in a decent amount of time, I'm actually probably going to need another uh, battleship over here. Uh, so it's really good that we actually have more battleships. Uh, in the area. So we'll actually send this armada over there to help. The armada, of course, has uh, more power, so it's going to add a lot more to that uh, to that attack. And then we will uh, we'll come over to Athens, and we'll have to keep our... Um, we got to protect our caravel right here, because it is what's going to allow us to capture it. It's what's going to allow us to capture it. So we can't lose it, or I won't be able to capture it. Now, I wish that I could actually attack Japan. I can't even dissolve our friendship. I can't. There's no button for it. It's really weird and annoying. I don't like it. Anyway, we've got these ships here. They'll be able to take Japan just as soon as Japan decides to let us attack him. I mean, either my sh my ships there will antagonize him enough to do it. Um, there you go will antagonize him enough to sort of denounce me or something, or I don't know. I can't even denounce him. Like, why? Why can I not denounce this guy? I should be able to. Anyway, let's bring our ironclad over here and upgrade it into a destroyer just because we can. Very lovely. Uh, we'll do the same thing with this guy. Again, for fun. Destroyer. Now we have destroyers. Who doesn't like uh, destroyers? This caravel. We can also upgrade it into a destroyer. Destroy us! So over here, what are we going to do? The shipyard would only give us two production for two gold. But as we've established, gold is good. Uh, we get an amenity with the arena, and we have like no amenities here. We're going to repair the workshop, though, because it's damaged. It's a one-turn thing. Uh, we're down here with this guy. Uh, obviously, our Inquisitor needs to keep healing. And uh, we can chase this guy down and kill him. Again, are we actually killing these missionaries, or are we just defeating them so much that they uh, essentially disband the equipping missionaries? Why did he not go away? Okay, now we can finish him off, and he won't kill our Inquisitor in the process. Well, no, it said that I could get to him. Now I can't get to him. Well, thanks for nothing. 
We got barbarians over here to deal with. Um, not that we have to, just that I want to. And there's a barbarian encampment uh, right over here. Keep sending our this battleship armada over here. And here we have our caravel, which I wish I, I could upgrade into a destroyer, but I cannot. So we will skip its turn because it can't do anything yet. Um, same with this caravel. We will skip its. We will heal. We'll rest and repair. Our ships can repair in neutral territory, which is one of the main uh, the benefits of uh, combat strength versus land units. Isn't very uh, helpful. Um, Togo. Hichihiro. What's he doing for me? Modern atomic air naval units. So he is benefiting us. So. Uh, you know, I don't need him to do anything. And you skip, and you skip your turn because for some reason we can't attack Japan. I've got to antagonize him to dissolve our friendship. Once our if our, once our friendship is dissolved, I can immediately attack him. These guys here are going to attack Athens. Let's see how much damage they actually deal to this frig uh, battleship. Like zero. A catapult. Oh, how how funny! You're going to bombard my battleship with a rock. Yes, you are. How much damage? I know that in Civ 5, artillery... Ah, oh, see, look, zero. Artillery was really good against ships in Civ 5. I remember that because I was playing as Gandhi, and Alexander the, or Alexander the Great, he tried to attack me. Wait, 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 wait. He just offered me a deal that he will not accept. This doesn't make any sense. Why would you make me a deal that you would not accept? That's stupid. I've never seen that before, and I think uh, Pericles is losing his mind. He offered me a deal that he himself would not accept. Was he just hoping that I would uh, make it better for him? Why would I do that? That's what he made sense either. Like, you would never make the deal better for someone. That's what they're supposed to do for you. So we'll just keep bombarding Pokrovka. I might not even need the Armada, actually. We'll see how the how these guys get on, because once the walls are dead, I think the city itself is going to No, we're going to need the Armada. The Caravel, we're going to keep right there, because I'm worried about it. It's a Caravel, so it's probably going to take way more damage from, uh, well, sources of damage. We'll finish killing the missionary. I don't think it's going to have any... Is this city close enough? For that to damage Buddhism and boost means. I don't know that it is. We'll find out. Okay, it is. That range is really huge. Alright. That's a really, really large range. Okay, so they're working that. Do they need food? They have a six food surplus. And their production isn't the best. So, I mean, I'm tempted to build a mine here. Plus three production or plus one food. We're going to do the plus three production because it's still going to give us food. Okay, so up here in Sarpsburg, we are going to repeat this route because it gives us the most in the way of money. And we... Well, wait, are we at war with Geneva? So wouldn't they just sack our... Or are we no longer... I don't get it. We're, we were at war with Geneva last I knew. We're not going to be trading with, uh, with him because it'll just get dissolved immediately. Let's trade with Vilnius. Well, Yerevan wants a trade route, so we'll go trade with Yerevan. In addition to... Yes, I do. So I do love riches, and uh, bringing them to my civilization. Those are things that I greatly enjoy. When am I going to be able to attack him? I still can't do it. Anyway, our dude's over there. We're gonna sail over here. We're going to declare war on um, <laughs> Pericles. <laughs> Because we can. Soldiers are not like trees, and they're destroyed and not so easily replaced. Uh, I don't. Yeah, but I don't have any soldiers. I have battleships, and actually, my battleships are easily replaced because I get two. Man, the armada is just crazy. Like, that's what's allowed me to do all this stuff. Like, build this crazy, huge mil uh, navy. Is that um, arsenal? Is what it's called the arsenal like that thing is is nuts like you do not want someone getting the arsenal if like holy God. 
That is the entire reason why I have this enormous snake capable of steamrolling everyone. Because I built the arsenal. Do I even have to attack this frigate? If it attacks me, it'll just instantly die. And I definitely need more battleships. Um, in the fray. Uh, because we can't attack J Japan anyway, I'll bring this battleship over. If these were all armadas, they'd probably be better. But as it stands, these cities seem to be much more heavily armored than the other cities were. Which makes sense. These guys are a higher tech level. So I think they get a higher... Theirs is higher by default. And we'll sail this guy over as well. The, uh... Oh, we can actually attack this dude now. Okay. Me. So we got battleships. I haven't even been building an aircraft carrier. Well, scrap, screw building it. I'm going to buy it. Can I buy an aircraft carrier in Magdenburg? I can indeed for a thousand gold. But why would I buy it there? It doesn't have any aircraft over there. I need to buy it in Aleppo where it actually has a biplane. It's kind of funny. I'm putting a bi... Well, I can upgrade the biplane. No, I can't. I haven't researched it yet. So I got sanitation now. I need to research advanced flight, which requires the radio. Which makes some sense. So let's go ahead and purchase with gold a lovely little aircraft carrier. And then we can rebase our biplane onto the aircraft carrier. And then we will send the aircraft carrier over to here. And it'll be funny because it's not really going to help us much and I'm spending a lot of my money. I'm not making nearly as much money as I did before. But it's probably because of all my... Whoa, all my trade routes are currently stopped because I was... Oh, because they were all trading with Greece. They were all trading with Greece, so I just lost a lot of my income. That's fine. I'm still making enough money. I can research capitalism and get uh, market economy. Uh, Laissez-faire, ideology, uh, police state... A nuclear program. Uh, do we want? Do not, let's see. Fascism or communism? I feel like communism is more in line with what we've been doing, just building a lot of things. But totalitarianism has lightning warfare. Third alternatives is really good for gold. If I had those things, martial law is good for war weariness. Gunboat diplomacy. No worry weariness from combat inside your orders. Do do. Optimization. All combat units gain plus four combat strength. I mean, we're probably going to go for totalitarianism. Like, it just seems to make sense. <laughs> okay, we can recruit a great scientist for every artifact in this city. I have no artifacts. I will pass on this great scientist because she does not benefit me in the slightest. Uh, now what will we do? Um, I mean, this place is crap. It builds things so slowly. But, whatever. Let's go ahead and just build an arena. It's going to take you forever, but just do it. Okay, so these two destroyers can form a destroyer fleet. That it matters. Sail down there. And, uh, and you... I want you to sail to Athens. Come sail away. Come sail away. Turn the monument. Come sail away with me. Go over here and kill the encampment. Uranium down here. I'm glad the uranium isn't... Oh, it's still glowy. It's still got glowy green crystals. Uranium does not look like glowing green crystals. Uranium is black, if I remember correctly. Bombard. Do This destroyer is almost dead. Plus one movement. Helmsman is awesome. Gotta have movement. The more movement, the better. This guy needs to sail through here. We're just collapsing on our uh, targets, basically. And if I were these guys, I would be extremely worried. Because uh, their time is, is running out. Japan is only still around because I can't attack him. Like, the game will not let me do it. It's weird. So I gotta keep the caravel on neutral territory so it can heal. Oh, it's not doing it. I thought all my naval units... Um, my, mil my, my, my 
naval melee units healed in neutral territory. That was like my lightning bolt of the north thing. I think. Come down here, Sergei Gorshkov, and uh, we'll bring this guy over there to set up the next turn. We'll form a link between them. I'm going to now uh, shoot a rock at my battleship. Please. Look at that damage. It shouldn't have even dealt damage. I mean, a rock fired from a catapult onto a modern battleship, that's not going to do anything, is it? Shooting it with bullets isn't going to do anything either. If anything, actually, the rock would probably deal more damage. But this dealt 23 damage. Shooting it with bullets from a machine gun. I mean, sure. It's probably going to do something. But I think it wouldn't damage the ship itself so much. It would, because those things are thick, right? I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't know. But I would assume that the most you could do is kill some people on deck. I don't think that bullets from that range would pierce the hull. But I don't know. Stole it. Stole the tech. Okay, uh, Aleppo can't trade with Athens anymore, so it has to trade with somebody else. So we'll go trade with Vilnius. Do I have any uh, envoys? I do not. The, um, the aircraft carrier can start moving. Can I see the biplane on it? I wish you could. I wish you could see the biplane. It'd be hilarious. Just a, a freaking little biplane. Attached to the uh, just a biplane attached to a landed on an aircraft carrier, like a modern aircraft carrier. Ooh. Uh, that could be a problem. We've got, um, yeah, we've got rebels in Aachen as you do and I've sent the ships away so the ships need to come back you need to come back destroyer can't help me um, just the menus are so bad that they there's nothing we can do about it plus three production for two gold definitely doing that but first we'll do the sewer for housing yeah occupied cities do they have a higher chance to generate um, to generate rebels because it's only ever happened to me in in cities with, with, with that I'm currently occupying sewer we're just building sewers in every city now that we have access to them I realize that the year is 1900 and we only just invented the sewers a little bit behind reality uh, in that regard Uh, he was trading with Athens as well, which of course we can't do anymore. So um, we'll trade with Toronto. Making 10 gold. It's the problem that you have when you've uh, when you've declared war on your main trading ally. The promise to stop spying has been fulfilled. Sure, I've stopped spying, and instead I have. Uh, decided to uh, declare war. It looks like Cologne's going to fall. Uh, but, well, maybe not. It looks like he's pushed them out. At least I don't see any guys over there. Let's keep bombarding Pokrovka. Hopefully with the um, addition of the Armada. Let's see, how much damage the Armada deals compared to the three? Oh, yeah. That looked like a lot more. I don't know if it actually was a lot more, but it looked like a lot more. Okay, now you can go over here and upgrade this, because they're certainly working it. I'm assuming they're working it. I would be working it. Back down here. Back over here. Why is it so difficult to stand there? Does it go over there? Why did it still look like the biplane was there? The biplane is there, but why? What? No, I rebased the biplane onto the aircraft carrier. Okay, now it's actually on the aircraft carrier. You better stay there. Bombard Athens! For the Emperor! Now the Emperor of Norway? We don't really... Would, would our civilization count as an empire? 
I mean, look at this. I mean, it's not really. We're, we're, I mean, we're not that spread out. I mean, we do, we founded most of these cities ourselves. Sure, a couple of them were ones that we captured from enemies. Why can't I tag? But, only a couple of them. One, two, three, four of them. What percentage of our total cities does that account for? Why can't I tag Hojo? Anyway, before we end, I should be able to capture Pokrovka this turn. Okay, Pokrovka's been destroyed. Go, Caravel. Take it. The musket armor. Yes! Krovka's ours! Look at all our notifications. We have so many. Why can't I zoom out all of a sudden? There we go. Let's go check out Pokrovka, now that we own it. Am I going to the right lane? No, it's over here. So, we now own Pokrovka. It, uh... Oh, that's why, because it's like selecting this huge thing. Scythia has lost their capital! Uh... Click on this. Domination victory. Three capitals captured. The only ones left are Pericles and Hojo. They're the only ones that have their original left. Um, we are getting there. We are almost there, actually. Um, very close to being there. So uh, let's talk to Tommy. And we can't make peace till eight, for eight turns. But uh, you know what? I don't really care anyway. We'll use her defenses against her to bombard these dudes. And then Sarpsburg can no longer we, we like we said we can't we can't trade with Athens because we're at war with them. But we have now captured Scythia's capital. The next thing that we want to focus on here, of course, is Athens. Will this ship even be able to take it? I am actually starting to doubt its ability, so we'll send this over here to get upgraded, and we'll send that down there. So this guy's gonna come over here. We need to come those guys. And he's gonna get upgraded. This guy's gonna come down here. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been really fun now that we've captured Scythia's capital, and uh, this is really good. Um, I'm really enjoying enjoying it. So there should be one more episode, maybe two, if I can figure out how to attack Japan. If I can't figure out how to attack Japan, we may have just have to keep it for a while more. We're gonna obviously keep Pokrovka. It's a good city. Um, and Bergen is also going to trade with Bergen. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate your viewership. Don't forget to like and comment down below if you did enjoy the episode. It really helps for these uh, series. I don't get as many views as my main ones, uh, so that the channel doesn't get too punished. And uh, just thank you for enjoying Civ 6. I really enjoy Civ 6, and I plan to keep playing it. So, uh, I hope you keep watching. Um, so join our Discord if you're interested. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.